Welcome back to Photoshop Simplified, everyone. Today we're going to be learning about layer masking. And if you want to get real serious with your editing, you need to understand layer masking. Layer masking allows you to selectively modify the transparency of an area of the layer it belongs to. So let's go ahead and make an adjustment layer here. So let's add a photo filter to this. And let's say we want to make the sky nice and cool. We'll go ahead and apply that. And the nice thing about adjustment layers is they automatically add a layer mask. So let's click the layer mask to activate it. To use layer masks, you need to utilize the brush tool in Photoshop. So select the brush tool. And if you right click, that'll bring up a panel of different options. And you can change the size of the brush here and also the hardness, which means how crisp it is. Generally when I'm layer masking, I want to keep it down around zero for nice blending. Let's hit enter to apply that. We can also change the brush size using the bracket keys. The right bracket makes it bigger, left bracket makes it smaller. The layer mask utilizes the brush and it depends what color is chosen. So black will erase away parts of the image and white will actually paint it back in. The saying goes black reveals, white conceals. And you can also choose the opacity depending on how much you want to actually erase away from the image. You can take 100% out or just 50%. It just depends on your choice. So let's go ahead and erase this foreground away so we can get rid of that cool tone in it and just leave it up there for the clouds. And you can now see we've erased away just the foreground. So if I turn the visibility off, you can see we have a nice cool sky and a good foreground. Let's go ahead and pull the opacity down a little bit, make a little bit of a less drastic change. So let's say we want a really contrasty sky. Let's go ahead and add on a contrast filter. And we'll add a bunch of contrast. And again, same thing. We don't want that happening to the foreground. So we have our brush selected. Black is our foreground. We can go ahead and erase that contrast layer out. Whoops, I went right through the middle of the image. The nice thing is I can switch this over from black as my foreground to white as my foreground and we can paint that back in. So those are just a couple simple adjustments and manipulation using the layer mask. So you can see where we started, added our color in, and added some contrast. Now we can always right click and delete the layer mask if we don't like it. And if you do that and you want to add a new one back on, there's an icon down here for add layer mask. Wanted to erase away again. 